Hey, what's up guys? So sorry for being late this time. So nevertheless, here are the best apps for this month. And the download link of all of these apps are linked below in the description box. So let's get on to the apps now. So the next app here is Clara. So it's a weather app and what's great about this app is its design and the amount of information it provides. In the main screen here, there are four tabs. Temperature, wind, clouds and humidity. So the first tab shows the graph of temperature for three days. You can know the hourly temperature and the overall condition using the slider below in the bottom. Then in the wind tab, you'll get information about the direction and the speed of the wind in a graph for the next three days. And you can also use the slider here to navigate through each day for each hour. The other two tabs shows cloud coverage, humidity, dew point and atmospheric pressure. There is also a long forecast option that displays forecast up to the next 10 days but it's just a summary, it's not as detailed. The widget provided by this app is also equally detailed. It shows the exact same graph from the app and you can change between all the different modes but it does not show the, the current weather information. So overall it's a great app, provides a lot of information and the widget also looks good. So the next app on the list is Universal Copy. So this app lets us copy things from fields and places where copying is disabled. So there are many apps where you can find this like in Instagram you cannot copy the description of the pictures and the same restrictions applies to a lot of places in Android. So Universal Copy lets us copy text from those disabled areas. So all you need to do is enable it from the app and then you'll have a notification in your notification drawer. Then whenever you need to copy from those disabled places, you just tap the notification and tap the area from where you want to copy the text. Then this app will copy all the text in that area and then you can specifically choose which text you want to select. So it's a great addition as it works along with the native Android clipboard. So this app itself does not have any additional settings, you just turn this on and leave it. So that's all about this one. So the next app here on the list is Tax Manager to Round. So by the name, it's a tax manager. And the design here is a bit different. So all the tasks you add get stored in a bubble in a vessel. And the tasks stack on top of each other. So the idea here is that this design helps us know how much needs to be done and when the vessel is going to be full. And we can also decide something that's need to be done later. The size of the bubble also determines how important the task is which makes sense as bigger bubble will be more visible and we will be more focused on that task. So the main feature of this app is its design and apart from that it has got everything a task manager should have. It has got organization by tags, the ability to set up time based reminders. So I think you should try this app because the design here can make a difference as it is made to make us more focused towards what we need to do. So just let me know your experience trying this app. So the next app on this list is Fork for Neon 3D. So this app was released in iOS years ago and was famous back then. And now it's released for Android too. So it's a fun to use app where you can create 3D images that will move around in a pattern it was drawn upon. And you can even add new shapes, uh, you can try out different colors, the whole image can be zoomed in, rotated. Many cool designs can be created and this app can provide entertainment for hours. So it's a great unique app that's finally available in Android and I highly suggest you guys to try it out. So the next app here is Signal Spy. So it's a simple app to track the network connectivity, to know how strong the cellular connection and the Wi-Fi connection is. So this app will display the signal strength and what LTE bands is currently being used and the history of connected networks. So you can all view them in this app. And if you are a Project Y user, you will be able to better manage by swapping carriers. It's a must-have app if you use Project Y. And this app can also be useful when traveling so that you can know how good the network connectivity is. About this video guys so do let me know which app do you like the most from this video and do subscribe for more videos thanks for watching see you guys in the next one